I've been thinking about a career change. Maybe hanging mirrors is something I could see myself doing. Isn't this a strange conversation for people who aren't supposed to be crazy? Maybe I misquoted that, I don't know. But today is a day where a book is in the mail and I gotta get that mother open. I ordered, I don't know, it hasn't been that long. I ordered Dracula's, signed and numbered, from Gauntlet Press. I think it was last year, I don't know. It wasn't that long ago. I ordered the book and it is in the mailbox, unannounced, no emails that it's coming, but I have seen some signs that it's out. I've seen people on the internet posting pictures and I'm excited. I already had a copy of this book. I had a copy of this book already. A soft cover, trade sized soft cover. And I got this one, I believe I got it from VJ Books, I think, maybe not, I don't remember. And it's signed by the people involved. Blake Crouch, Jack Kilborn, Jeff Strand, and F. Paul Wilson. And I bought this book because I was a collector of F. Paul Wilson. I've been collecting his books since probably year 2000, I think. Started with the tomb and boom, all sorts of reads, all sorts of books in the F. Paul Wilson collection. Very recently, within the last four months or so, I started reading Blake Crouch books. And I gotta say, I have a new addition to my list of very favorite authors on this earth. Um, Dark Matter is unbelievable. Recursion, unbelievable. The Pines Trilogy, terrific. Uh, anyway, when I found out they were doing a signed limited edition version of this book, I had to pounce and it's in. So let's take a look and see how it looks. First off, the, uh, the packaging. <clears throat> this book was shipped to me directly from Borderlands Press. I ordered it from Gauntlet Press, and the way I understand it, it's a joint production between the two publishers. So I heard from Gauntlet, it's shipped from Borderlands Press, and I've done some, uh, I've got a lot of Borderlands Press books. I've got 50 or so, maybe more, Gauntlet Press books. Borderlands Press books, I've got quite a few also. They've done F. Paul Wilson stuff. Most recently, you've got the Compendium of F, You've got the Adversary Cycle limited edition book. So I got quite a few Borderlands press books, book press books, plus others. But this one is Dracula's. Let's take a look and see. I get to, I got a problem because I've got a blooming Blake Crouch collection, and I've got a bombastic Florida ceiling F. Paul Wilson collection. Where does this book go? I have to say, since F. Paul Wilson was my first love, I'll, uh, I'll put this book into my F. Paul Wilson collection, along with the signed trade soft cover that I just showed you. But let's get into it. It's shipped in a box. The box is a little bit bigger than the book. And uh, if I could ever figure out how to open a box, you'd think, too much knife. If I, if I ever learn how to open a box, I'd get it open and see what we got. Inside this book, almost no cushioning or padding between the box and the book itself. Stuff like that scares me. This, these, uh, these, these books are being handled by postal carriers. They're getting thrown in with bunches and bunches of other packages and trucks shipping. Things happen, they get dinged, they get busted up, and as much cushion as you can get, and as much extra space as you can have inside the box, really helps ensuring that the books are delivered in great shape. And this, uh, while this book, at a first glance, looks like it's not damaged or busted up or any of that stuff, if it is, it's luck because there, there just wasn't much protection in here. I hate to complain, and I don't guess I am complaining, just telling, telling it like it is, being truthful and trying not to make a mess on my floor, these little, I got one piece of styrofoam in there about the size of a small thumb, and it's broken and twisted and put little pieces on my floor. But at a glance, it looks like 
my book might be all right. Get this little pieces of styrofoam that are all inside the book out. You clear it out, clean it out. Get it ready. For display. This is a, uh, this was added to my book as a cushion, I guess. This piece here and it's, it's kind of come apart into a bunch of little tiny pieces and balls and it's mixed throughout the pages of the book, smashed in some places. And uh, the, uh, the, the, still getting more of this stuff out that's jammed in between things. <clears throat> So packaging, the uh, the dust jacket, and it looks like my board is a bit of a ding there. Not not bad, slightish ding on that one corner. Brand new, signed limited edition book, comes in the mailbox, dinged, not packaged for protection in any way, shape, or form, and full of slivers of a tiny piece of styrofoam. Um, the other corners look good. My dust jacket looks to be undamaged. And there we go. Draculas. And I, I like the artwork. It's, it's simple and it's basic. But when you compare it to the trade soft cover, it, it looks better. So it looks very good on the shelf. And that's what we got. <clears throat> Let's take off this. Look, more pieces of styrofoam stuck in there. Yeah, it's just, this is what I'm talking about. I got this junk everywhere throughout the book from my one piece of busted up styrofoam. There is a, a little bit of bent pages there from a piece of styrofoam that was kind of jammed in, had the pages cock wangled, and it's on the end paper, which is textured in red, creased, uh, not creased, but bent. Bent there, our signature page bent there just trash stuffed into the book uh <laughs> got stuff a little bit twisted but that's what we came for signature page signed by blake crouch j.a conrath jeff strand f paul wilson uh, this edition of dracula's is limited to 500 copies this is number 119 so i'm excited to get the book in the mail the condition is not bad i'm pretty sure that sitting on the shelf long enough my little bent pages there will uh will flatten out yeah, the uh, no com not gonna complain this one will go on the shelf and be fine for me let's take a look at this book a a cloth boards beautiful red foil spine this one looks very good you got the borderlands press and gauntlet logos both a joint venture and this is one of these books that this one, if you stuck it on the shelf just like this, it would look great. So it's almost tempting. When I get books like this, it almost makes me wish I had two. One for the dust jacket, the beautiful dust jacket to be displayed, and then one to display without. This one looks good. A classy looking book. So here's what it's gonna look like on my shelf. The spine looks really, really good. And the back we have, did I show you this already? pictures of our contributors and let's talk a little bit about this book four well-known horror authors pull their penchants for scares and thrills and tackle one of the greatest of all legends with each writer creating a unique character and following them through a vampire outbreak in a secluded hospital the goal was simple write the most intense novel they could possibly write which they did and how Exciting, excellent work. Like I said, two of my very favorite authors on God's green earth. And uh, glad to have it. Glad to have it on board. I've got several more books coming from Gauntlet Press and uh, looking forward to them. Every, it seems like every year there's three or four or maybe five Gauntlet Press books that I want to get. And uh, they, they take up a lot of space on my shelf. It's a publisher that publishes has published a lot of authors that I've collected. Authors from Bradbury, Matheson, F. Paul Wilson, uh, David Morell, Joe R. Lansdale. Now we got Blake Crouch, Ray Garten. I'm probably missing some, but there's quite a few authors that I have 
Oh, shoot. Uh, William Peter Blatty's um, The Exorcist. I'd like to get a copy of Psycho by Robert Block, the signed and numbered edition, which I don't have. That's on the list of books that I want to get one of these days. But anyway, Dracula's is in the mail. It's very, very nice. I really wish Borderlands Press would put a little bit of thought, a little bit of effort into shipping things the right way, the way that almost all publishers ship things. A larger box, plenty of padding to make sure that this stuff doesn't get damaged in the post. And if I had one complaint, that would be it. Other than that, I got no more lies to tell. Thank you for your time. Say la vie, baby.